Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the tune Popeye the Sailor Man and at the time of recording this video this tune is just about 80 years of age, just slightly over 80 years of age, I think it was written in 1932 uh, for the character Popeye, I used to love Popeye the Sailor Man when I was a kid, uh, the cartoon that is, and stupidly I only just realised that he had one eye, hence the name, so how silly do I feel? Anyway, we're going to learn the tune on this CG Anglo concertina. There's quite a lot involved, so let's get to it. First of all, we're in the key of C major. Um, so the bulk of your notes will be on this C row, the middle row of the CG Anglo concertina. Here and here, of course. It's a waltz, so it's 3-4, three, 3 bits the bar. Uh, so you're counting one, two, three, one, two, three, and a lot of the time we're going to be doing our um pa pa, where we play a bass note like this and two notes like that for the pa. So um pa pa. But obviously sometimes uh, we have to play something that isn't um pa pa on the left hand side, and that's when we get into the bass clef. I've written the entire tune out in two clefs, treble clef and bass clef, and I'll explain that as we go. Um, the first bar is a pickup bar, bar naught we call it. This is a bar that's only got a pair of notes in it and they come in on beat three. So you're going to count one, two, and on beat three you're going to play those two notes. So the buttons you're playing here are buttons six and seven on the C row and you're pushing the bellows in and fingers one and two you can see the little numbers by the sides of the notes and there you have your first two notes. Now you've got to go into the first proper bar now. You can see nothing in the bass clef, which means that it's going to be an um pa pa and we're going to play this. Now you've just played a C and an E, right? you retain the E uh, and you put a G on top of that. So let me explain. When we've got two notes in the right hand here, usually the upper pitch note, in the case of the first pair, this note here, is the tune and the lower pitch note is a harmony. So when we go into the first full bar, bar number one, the G note, which is uh, button eight pushing, finger three, is the tune and the E note, button seven, finger two pushing, is the harmony. So melody and harmony note. So, so far you've got, while you're playing those notes, in the right hand in bar one, you're doing this for the left hand. You're going to play um, the C note, that's the C bass down here, which is button number one, C row, little finger, and the pa pa is going to be uh, buttons four and five, also on the C row, fingers two and one, and those notes are C and E. So in other words, you play a C down here, a C up here, octave higher, and an E above that. The three notes that make up a chord of C major are C, E, and G. We're only playing two of those notes here because we've got a C, another C, and an E. So that's perfectly fine. So play that with the right hand. I'm going to count that in from the beginning. One, two. Like that, and that's pretty straightforward, I think. 